in a zombie apocalypse, a monk would grab the shotgun. And because of his martial arts training, he would get to the shotgun first. Hi everybody, and welcome to the Casually Avid Gamer Plays 7 Days to Die. Here we go. Come here, you. He's still up. Come on, I thought... Come here, you. Well, we came through the horde just fine. Spikes should probably take care of that cat. Oh, he's done. Okay, why do I have a torch? Okay, yeah, we'll put that there. So we came through the horde fairly well. Uh, let's take a look at our base. So not wanting to, oh, I don't know, um, die on my spikes. I'm going to put that there. <laughs> All right, so... Yeah, can we repair these at all? I get guess. Huh, I guess you can. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know that we're going to do that much more. Because I don't know that we're coming back here. But the base came through... Well, marginally well. There are a couple of spots where the iron bars are down to like 30% health, which is not ideal. <laughs> uh, so if we want to, if we decide we end up wanting to use the space again, we are going to have to uh, do a lot of work on it. But I'm not sure exactly what we want to do. So the first thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to head back to our base where we've got our forge. I think I cooked up a bunch of uh, the iron. So I want to get some forged iron because I want to make another pick. I want to make a, a steel shovel because we're going to need clay. And today we are going to go back to that town and see if we can't hit up uh, that one store. But before we do that, I would really like... Uh, to get some iron arrowheads going because this whole four or five arrows to drop a guy like some of the tougher zombies like I, I'll hit with three headshots and they don't drop <laughs> like they'll fall down but they don't die <laughs> and that gets that makes it really stressful like if if you can one shot one kill your way through a lot of these kit for through a lot of these kittens and cats that makes it so much easier all right, dead chicken gave us the rest of the arrows we need. Of course, now I'm carrying some meat, which I think is a bad idea. So what we might do is we will throw the raw meat. Level 18, we have 92 skill points to spend. I think I'm gonna hoard my skill points for a while. But anyway, we're gonna throw the meat in there so we don't stink. And if we remember where it's at, which I won't, uh, but if we do remember where it's at, we can come get it later. Uh, now let's see, how do I switch between the the arrows I'm firing. Alt. Alt R. I, I don't know how to control R. Okay, I don't know how to switch between arrows. R. R. No. Alt R. Okay, I don't know how to switch between arrows. This is pants. <laughs> I'm going to have to look this up on the internet later. But I don't feel like waiting. So we are going to try and find that store. As if zombies aren't bad enough. It's just bear. It's a stupid bear. <laughs> no, we're not going over there. We're not going back to that Shamway Foods. We're not going by the stupid bear. We're going over there where it's hopefully a bear-free zone. I know there's somebody in here. There she is. Can we shoot her from here? Uh, oh, there we go. Hi, sweetie. How you doing? 
My name's the Casually Avid Gamer, and I've just been shot in the mush. Oh! Oh, wait, no, she's dead. I thought it was like, oh, she's tough! She took one in the face and survived. Okay, so, oh, goodness. All right, antibiotics. That's what we wanted. That's the bunny! All right, I don't know if anybody's else, anybody else is in here. We'll find out soon enough. But we're going to plug these holes up and start searching. Now, a lot of the base zombies, I think I think there's like eight models. And I think I'm at a point where with stone arrows, I'm headshotting or one hit killing on headshots with three, maybe four of them. So that's better. So, yeah, not being able to figure out how to switch my stupid arrows doesn't seem to be much of a problem. Right now, at least. Oh, we're in a poppin' pills. Uh, okay. All right, we'll take it. We can medical supplies. Sure, we'll take them. All right, so we made out pretty okay. Um, antibiotics, which is huge, because uh, we're we've taken a lot more damage in Alpha Thirteen than we ever did in Alpha Twelve. Uh, found some beer, which who doesn't love that? Lots of grain alcohol, vitamins, uh, lots of first aid bandages. So it was it was pretty good. Uh, bottled water again, which isn't such a huge concern for us, but you know what? We'll take it. <laughs> Can we search dumpsters? They make a huge amount of noise. That was a terrible idea. <laughs> oh, and a, a desk safe up there. <sighs> Do we hammer on it? Do we get out our pick and just? <gasps> try and yeah let's we'll try it and then we'll regret it in a little bit but uh we'll try it maybe it'll be... oh my lord this is gonna take a thousand hours meanwhile yeah this took forever what's in it what's in it hunting rifle parts which we've already got some amazing ones Shotgun stock, which we don't need. Pistol barrel, which we'll scrap. And hunting rifle parts, which which we will also scrap. Because we've already got good ones. There we go. Well, don't know if that was worth it. It It's a uh, good thing to know for, for future that uh, dumpsters might have something awesome on top of them. Uh, because gun parts are great. We're just nowhere near getting guns ready. <laughs> On the first try. Oh. Hey. I just shot you twice. Turn around. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit. Hey. You don't, you don't dodge, mister. Sit down. There's this road that goes up here, but I think that's going through a, this burnt biome because the, all that gray there is the burnt biome. Like I said, we don't want any of that really. Uh, so I'm thinking head south this in uh, this away and see if we can't find another town, something where we can really start just <laughs> learning how to do stuff because. Right now, we're we're like a child. <laughs> we don't know how to do anything. We don't know how to make guns or bullets or leather or cement. None of that good stuff. Okay, and I want to let you in on a couple of things I'm trying to do. Uh, well, first, I'm trying to shoot that guy right in the puss. Oh, we missed him. There we go. I think that got him. All right, so one of the things you're going to see me doing a lot is just making an absolute ton of stone axes. That's because if we look at our skills, our tool smithing is at 5. Our weapon smithing is at 25, 29. That's why we're getting, well, not decent, but better bows and things like of that nature. But we've had to craft so few tools that... Uh, it's just falling way behind, so our, our tools are just terrible. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start spamming stone axes. And see, toolsmithing, level 6. 
and hope that really just kind of gets us a good bump um, because these these junk tools just are not going to cut it, guys. They are absolutely not going to cut it. On the road again. On the road again. And oh, hey, guys. I And I do want to say, if you are enjoying the series, please click that like button. Click that subscribe button. Uh, it all, it's, it helps me out just so much. It gives me a ton of motivation to keep doing what I'm doing. And so if you do, so if you do click those, I would really super appreciate it. That would be, that would be amazing. All right, let's, let's, let's keep rolling. Uh, no, I don't feel like sitting here for 15 minutes while we search a car. And see, because we're always crafting arrows, our, our weapon smithing just shoots up quickly and quickly and quickly. Yeah, world generation definitely needs some, <laughs> some work. Car embedded into the side of a hill. That's a thing in this game. Right in the mush. And then right into something else. I have a feeling I know where this <laughs> this road took an immediate turn into. It's going there's a destroyed city here. <sighs> Seriously, at least I think if I remember, it's a destroyed city. Well, we'll 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 figure it out when the sky starts going green, or not. Maybe maybe it won't. Maybe we'll be all be okay. Maybe it'll be happy fun times for everyone. Oh wait, we need to spam our axes. X spam. Craft. That's going to burn through all of our plant fibers, but that's okay. There seem to be a lot of them <laughs> available, at least. Yep. Destroyed city. Green sky. Darn it. Okay, is it just me, or can we not get away from these stupid destroyed cities? We're, we're going to try it. We're going to try. We're going to run this way and actually get away from them. But, I mean, <laughs> it seems everywhere we've tried to explore. <coughs> Excuse me. Mute, mute, mute. Did I mute it? Did I mute it in time? No, I didn't. It just seems like everywhere we've explored has taken us right into an, uh, to a destroyed city. And I don't want to go to a destroyed city. They're They're pants. Like they just they're they're pants. They're seriously pants. Here, let me clear clear out space in my inventory so that we might make more stone axes and then therefore get better at um making axes in the future. Toolsmithing level seven. Woot! Craft Okay, and I guess whilst I'm here. I don't want to punch the dirt. I just want to punch stuff. And this, this will give us a higher athletic skill, which means we're better at punching. Which, who cares, right? I mean, if you're punching something in this game, you have failed. Um, you're, you, you have failed, and you are about to die. Um, that's kind of the reality of this game whilst you're punching. But at least there's a skill to get better at it. I can't, although, you know, some absolutely insane person is probably going to try and monk, <laughs> do an empty-handed monk build or whatever to, to make it through this, this kooky thing we call Seven Days to Die. And that person's crazy. I mean, more power to him. But I'm not going to do that. I'm... I'll, I'll punch grass when I need it just because I don't think my axe needs to wear on it. But when it comes to, you know, like fighting zombies and stuff, no, not a chance. In a zombie apocalypse, a monk would grab the shotgun. And because of his martial arts training, he would get to the shotgun first. All right, well, it looks like because destroyed city, destroyed city. This might be our best bet because, like I said, I think this goes up into the burnt biome. This goes down into the desert, which we're not a fan of because I have to take off all my armor <laughs> if I want to go down into the desert. And I feel better with my armor on. 
So we're going to try to go up here and explore up there a little bit, maybe. Although, if a deer's going to stare us right in the face and then run off because... Okay, I got him. Do we chase after him? We chase after him! And hopefully we find him dead somewhere. Just, like, laying down, like, oh, no, the humanity. Okay, I saw him disappear. He's in... I know, I know he's in here somewhere. Uh, shiv, shiv. There he is. Harvesting invisible deer. All right, well, it's getting a little later in the day and we want to get home before dark. So we're going to explore up this a little a little ways. And I think we're coming up on the end of the episode, but let's uh let's explore up here first. Let's check out the map. Yeah, oh, there was a glitch where this road didn't end up connecting like you could tell where it split off here and then ended almost immediately. But uh let's head up and yeah, something can be done about those too. Definitely still an alpha stage game. But they've got a small development team, so it's taken a while, and that's okay. Uh, it's it's this game is a ton of fun, the way it is, and for me, I think I've already gotten my money's worth out of it. Um, I've spent a lot more money for games I've played and enjoyed a lot less. <laughs> Temperature-wise, we should be all right. Um, we've got between all the cloth armor we're wearing and our duster we should be just fine although I didn't think to bring our, our puffer coat which let's face it a duster is a heck of a lot cooler than a, a puffer coat that's just a terrible name that's an absolutely terrible name and it should be changed it should be changed in real life and it should be changed in the game uh, it should sound something more awesome like mega awesome ninja coat yeah, you heard it here first. So when everybody starts calling Mega Awesome Ninja Coat, ah, big lumberjack person of the lumberjack persuasion, stop zigging. You're supposed to walk straight at me so I can shoot you in the forehead. And you're not doing it, Mr. Dude. Yeah, my archery skill is now 28, but I can't hit anything. Okay, now that's... Yeah, shoot you. Ah! Run away. Run away, Zs. Oh, that should... Oh, come on. There we go, right in the mush. Okay, that should have been in the mush as well. Ah, running away. It's getting on six. All right, we're going to slaughter this guy. And then it's it's time to head home. Yeah, take that right in the arm. Did that hurt? Did that hurt too? Dude. Uh, it's a heck of a roar you got there, buddy. Okay. Now let's see what kind of great loot he has. I'm sure he's packing. A puffer coat! Yay! We were just talking about how awesome puffer coats are. But don't you mean a mega awesome ninja coat? Yeah, scrap. Okay. It's, it's dark and... This is definitely the way to explore next time, but it's going to have to be when we've got a full day. So, as I'm waiting 10 years for this car to be searched, thank you guys for tuning in this episode of the Casually Average Gamer Play 7 Days to Die. I hope you had lots of fun. I did. It was neat, even if we couldn't get iron arrows to work. And how do I get home? Okay, I could try cutting straight across, but look at that terrain. That is not happening. Uh, so we're going to follow the roads and follow the terrain as best we can. All right, guys. Click that like button. Click that subscribe button. Have a great week. And I'll talk to you next time.